PageSpeed tests measure performance and give feedback for setting goals and improving site speed. But each testing tool has different metrics, and even when using the same tool, results fluctuate. In this guide, you'll learn how to get the most consistent results when running a performance test, how to use your score to set performance goals, why scoring a 100 is the wrong goal, and why your Hummingbird Pro and Google PageSpeed results may not be the same. So how do you get an accurate PageSpeed result? Start by choosing a tool. Popular page performance tools include Google's PageSpeed Insights, Pingdom, and GT Metrics. But for this tutorial, we'll be using Google PageSpeed Insights. Because of its focus on the end user experience, and Google uses site speed as a ranking metric in search results. PageSpeed Insights gives a clear picture of what Google prioritizes when setting search ranking. To run consistent scans, use the same performance tool each time. If you plan on using multiple testing tools, be sure and establish a unique baseline for each tool. Run the test directly from the PageSpeed Insights page using an incognito window to bypass applications that may affect results. If you run a PageSpeed test from the Chrome DevTools, be sure and turn off antivirus scanners, extensions, or programs that can interfere with the page load speed. Turn off or bypass ad scripts with inconsistent behaviors. This will cause your page speed to fluctuate. Also use the correct URL. This may sound basic, but using HTTP when it should be HTTPS will cause a redirect and slow your load time, negatively impacting your page speed. Run multiple tests each time. It's recommended you run a minimum of five tests, drop the top and bottom scores, and use the remaining three to establish an average. This gives you a more realistic baseline and ensures you are getting a score that includes the benefits of cash. Finally, when making and saving changes to asset optimization in Hummingbird Pro or bulk optimizing your library with Smush Pro, be sure the compression process is completed before retesting to get the full benefit. Now we'll look at what a good performance score is for your site. Because PageSpeed scores fluctuate, setting a goal should be done with these variables in mind. The quality of your hosting, geographic location, the number of scripts or third-party calls your page is making, and the plugins and theme you are running. WPMU Dev members get the advantage of dedicated hosting, Smush Pro, and Hummingbird Pro performance controls for further optimizing speed, and a powerful CDN. But these cannot fix performance issues located on third-party servers, like social networks or video-embedded platforms like YouTube, scripts you rely on, or resource-intensive themes and plugins. After creating a platform with resources you're happy with and trust, including tools, scripts, theme, and hosting provider, run a page speed test to get your baseline. This will give you a starting point. Once you've established a baseline, you can begin with incremental changes to the areas you have control over. These include optimizing your images with Smush Pro, fixing the recommendations in Google Page Speed Insights, like properly sized images, defer off screen images efficiently encode images and serve images in next-gen formats, and optimizing your text-based resources or code files with Hummingbird to resolve, eliminate render blocking resources, minify JavaScript and CSS, remove unused CSS, enable text compression, uses efficient cache policy on static assets, and pre-connect to required origins. Your page speed score goals will be different for every site and page. If you have a large e-commerce site with lots of product images, this will be more resource intensive than a news website with lots of text. Ads, scripts, and network conditions all cause results to vary for each visit. Even adding the Google Analytics tracking script makes it difficult to score in the high 90s. That's why getting a 100 score is the wrong goal for your site. PageSpeed Insights is designed to gauge your user's experience. It's not a percentage to pass or fail. According to the Google PageSpeed Insights documentation, sites that score a 100 represent the 98th percentile for performance, while a 50 represents the 75th percentile. That means only 2% of tested websites score a 100. And if you score a 50 or better, you're already in the top 25% of websites for performance. 
if you've done everything you can to improve performance with Hummingbird Pro and Smush Pro and are still not happy with the results, you'll need to reevaluate your hosting, scripts, and other variables. When configuring Hummingbird, you may have noticed the built-in performance scan. Hummingbird uses Google's PageSpeed results, but provides customized and WordPress-specific recommendations and fixes. But you may find that Hummingbird produces different results from scans run directly on PageSpeed Insights. This is because the Hummingbird results always ping the same server, while PageSpeed Insights will get results from the nearest server. For the most accurate results based on your end user's experience, use PageSpeed Insights directly. For customized WordPress-specific recommendations and in-dashboard tips for improving performance, use the Hummingbird Pro scan and results.